Before we begin today's video, I want you all to know that we have now found the new messiah of the furry fandom. He will guide us all like how Moses guided the Jews out of Israel. Our Lord and Savior is Lord Ricky Berwick. Attention all furries, I am your new leader. I will lead you to a better life. Oh. Ow. Ow. Ah. Uh -oh. Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord here, and welcome to Seether Talks number 59, also notably the first Seether Talks video to be made in fursuit, so that's super exciting. So in the spirit of using my fursuit for videos now, we will be focusing today's episode on fursuits, particularly the fursuits that smell like shit. Ooh, you suck. One thing that stood out for me to make this a topic for a Seether Talks video was over an experience I had with another fursuiter at the New Orleans Wizard World Comic Con convention I went to two weeks ago. And just a little disclaimer, to all the nice people that I interacted with and shared social media with, this doesn't relate to you guys at all. This is completely someone else. Have no idea who they were and was the only there on Friday of the convention while all the other furries was there on Saturday. This first suitor, which I will not describe verbally or show anything visually of their suit so I can keep them anonymous for privacy reasons, had a fursuit, which was a decently made fursuit in fact. It was well crafted, seemed like he spent a decent amount of money on the suit, was pretty cute and seemed overall like a pretty solid fursuit. However, there was one catch. The moment that I saw the fursuiter at the con, I could smell a certain stench coming from their suit. Their fursuit legit smelled like a pile of crap ate a second pile of crap and then crapped out a third pile of crap. Props to anyone who gets that reference, which I'm not going to spoil. Okay, it's Princess Carolyn from Bojack Horseman. You look like a pile of crap ate a second pile of crap and then crapped out a third pile of crap. So, which pile of crap do I look like? The third one. Damn, she is thick and I'm rambling, great! Anyway, this suit just downright smelled awful. I wanted to go into another direction of the convention grounds to avoid the suitor, but I knew it would make things awkward, which if you couldn't already tell, I'm a pretty socially awkward guy. But the suitor already noticed me and was motioning me to take a photo with them, so when I got up close to him to maybe take some photos or just talk, I noticed that other people at the convention, be it the cosplayers or other regular attendees, were also repulsed by this fursuiter's stench. So when I got up to the first suitor, the first suitor was like, hey, I want to hug you. And he was being respectful and consented, I'll give him that, and so I did. But right as I was hugging them, I noticed that the head of their suit was really rugged and unkempt. It was more unkempt and messy than my hair, both in my fursuit and IRL, and that's saying something. I must also mention that the white portions of fur on their suit was very messy and looked slightly yellow. Would it be like yellowing? Yellowed? Yellowed? Fur yellowed? It was The fur was yellowing? I don't freaking know. It reminded me a lot of when you don't brush your teeth and your teeth start to yellow. That's really gross and disgusting now that I think about it a lot more. Oh my god. So I finished the hugging spree and made my way in another direction of the con and didn't let it bother me until right now when I'm making this video. I found this whole experience interesting because it shows how I feel it's important for us to make sure that when us fursuiters are at conventions to make sure we keep our suits clean and professional while we're out in public areas. I say this because we don't want outsiders to think that we're more disgusting than many people already think we are thanks to the media. Most of the media in fact makes fun of us for how we're some form of sex cold and we're perverts it's all about sex. And not keeping your suit clean out in public can encourage people to agree with those negative people slash media outlets. Hence your fursuit being covered in freaking nacho cheese Dorito dust stains that come from your intense Fallout 76 gaming session where you spend over an hour crafting yourself a weapon and then the servers go down and then you scream. I have bad experiences with Fallout 76, okay? Don't judge me, the struggle is real. Or have your fursuit be drenched in mayonnaise representing a stereotypical alpha male wife beater wearing husband and is waiting on a sandwich from his wife saying, Darlene, make me a sandwich, extra mayo. Gets the sandwich. I said no mayo! Overall, just take care of your suit. Keep it in a container, brush it, disinfect it, wash it, whatever. 
Just do it every once in a while, especially before you're going to a convention. Just help us all by avoiding furthering a stereotype about us furries. So that pretty much wraps up this episode of Seether Talks for today, the first episode of Seether Talks in my fursuit for the new style of videos we're making. How do you guys feel about keeping your fursuit clean? Do you guys keep your fursuit clean if you have a fursuit? Do you not clean it? What is your method of keeping your fursuit clean? Do you wash it? Do you disinfect it? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon page, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been Seether Cord, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Cord, man, this is a freaking... Use it! Better. Use it! 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 Chris is just, like, crying right now. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you two? What's wrong? What do you feel? What the fuck is wrong with me?